How many times have we heard that, the past was always better? Surely more times than we can remember. Although in certain cases it may be true, the examples we are going to show you today are far from it. The following examples are real objects that were used at some point in human history. Their function was entirely practical, hence their bizarre appearances. Number 1. Device to prevent masturbation. Made of copper, this device was very popular in France in 1880. It was mainly used on infants to prevent them from succumbing to sin. Most of the children who used it ended up with infections due to the poor hygiene of the device. Number 2. Briefcase for Vampire Hunting. No American home of the 19th century was complete without its vampire hunting kit from Professor Abraham Van Helsing. It includes a Bible, several wooden stakes, silver bullets, crosses, garlic, holy water, and a red ball that we're not exactly sure what it's for. Number 3. Earwax Cleaners. These devices for cleaning earwax became very popular in 12th century Russia. Men wore them attached to their belts, while women used them as pendants. Number 4. Ivory Boxes for Fleas. Ivory was used for various carvings. Highly prized for its appearance, one of the most curious objects are the so-called flea boxes or zibellinos. These items were used for the capture and elimination of the then very common annoying parasites. Number 5. Sable Martin Fur. The Sable Martin Fur was highly prized in the 16th century. The reason is much more disgusting than we might imagine. As you know, hygiene was non-existent in those years. The fur of this animal was used to attract fleas and thus avoid having to take a bath. Number 6. Dance Card. Dance cards or dance booklets had a utility that is now unthinkable. On their pages, the melodies that were going to be played that night and the partner with whom one was going to dance were noted. It was very frowned upon to commit to a dance with a lady and then forget said commitment. The booklets were exquisitely decorated with precious stones, mother of pearl, and other ornaments. Number 7. Multi-tiered Travel Cabinet. This piece of furniture would be the equivalent of today's toiletry bag, but much bulkier. These toiletry bags contained absolutely everything a gentleman might need to keep his appearance always impeccable. Mirrors, combs, perfume, nail clippers, spare buttons, etc. The one in the photograph belonged to Prince Beauharnais of Italy. Number 8. Toothpicks. Currently, toothpicks are usually made of wood and are disposable. The one we see in the photograph dates back to the year 1620 and is a small work of art. Number 9. Hands for scratching the head. We've already talked about the poor hygiene culture practiced by our ancestors from a couple of centuries ago. If we add to their scant inclination for bathing the passion they had for incredible and bead-filled hairstyles, we have an ideal breeding ground for nits, fleas, and lice. To maintain these exaggerated hairstyles shape and consistency, oils and greases were often used, which quickly became filled with little bugs. The scratching hands were used to dig into the hair and thus alleviate the itch caused by these unpleasant tenants. Number 10. Very Strange Chamber Pots. The chamber pot in this photo was intended to be used during travels or outings. Having to undress to go to the bathroom back then could be a problem due to the many layers of clothing the outfits had. What is unexplainable is the need to draw an eye on such an instrument. They came in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Without a doubt, each one was more curious than the next. Number 11. Buttonhole Flower Vase. 
This little marvel was simply a portable flower vase. It was designed to fit into the buttonhole of jackets or dresses. Inside, a bit of water was poured so that the flowers took longer to wilt. Its ornamentation was by no means simple. Number 12. Button Hooks. As the name suggests, these tools are used for fastening buttons. During the Victorian era, clothing with a huge number of buttons became very fashionable. There were boots with 20 buttons, gloves with 10, and as for dresses, let's not even go there. Button hooks considerably facilitated this task. Number 13. Tea cups for men with mustaches. During the Victorian era, the mustache was a key feature on any man's face. Large, small, bushy, or stylized. There were mustaches of all shapes, sizes, and colors, and taking care of them was crucial. To prevent mustaches from getting soaked or losing their stylish shape when having tea, cups with mustache guards were invented. 